finally tonight, from the brutalities of war to the delicate beauty of dance. The men and women of the United Ukrainian Ballet will make their U.S. debut tonight at the Kennedy Center here in Washington. CBS's Christina Ruffini has a preview. For members of the United Ukrainian Ballet, the stage is a refuge. The time you can't plan something or think about the past. Last February, Alexei Knyazkov was about to star in Romeo and Juliet at the Kharkiv National Opera House. Instead, he found himself at the center of a different tragedy. You don't think about performing or something like this when aircraft uh, go over your house or uh, you hear explosions. Vladislava Inetenko fled Odessa with dance clothes and a single pair of point shoes. We didn't dance for a long time because the most important thing was to save yourself. But this week, she and her fellow dancers will perform at the Kennedy Center. The company of 60 relative strangers formed with the help of professional dancers who found housing and rehearsal space in The Hague. They're touring the world to remind audiences what's happening at home. Of course, uh, we all wanted to come back to Ukraine to see our family's friends. But it's hard to plan right now. Yes, you yeah, can't plan anything. Uh, maybe tomorrow everything will change. Will we have our home? tomorrow you don't know their final act still uncertain christina raffini cbs news washington